This is part one of a of a uh, tutorial on how to do modeling using a kind of a mapping method using photographs. Uh, on screen I've got a photograph that uh, I've uh, taken of a, of a building frontage and uh, what we're going to do is edit that a wee bit. Um, let me just I'm just going to take the uh, toolboxes out there so I can see what's going on on screen. Don't really need to see the layers so much here. Okay. Um, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll crop this to the to the centre of this keystone first. So we'll, we'll bring that down to the centre of the keystone. Okay, which is about there. And I'm going to take away the cornice at the top. That's a reasonably big feature that I would I would probably model in separately and we'll take away the the sill kind of string course there as well so I'll crop that and let's have a look at what we've got here there's a there's a kind of a, a little portico doorway coming through I think that would need to be to be dealt with firstly I need to deal with this with this window you can see just because of the perspective that the the middle of the the, the window mullion there isn't half and half on the uh on the the center of the the keystone where it really should be so let's let's deal with that first so i think what we'll do is is really take take a strip about that size okay and copy that and then paste it back in so i should be able to control where that goes so let's zoom in a bit closer see how Get the position a bit more accurate. Get the move tool. I'm just nudging it using using the uh, cursor keys instead. So that looks a looks like it's in line with the edge. That will do. Okay, I'm not being too pernickety with this one. Okay. Well, then I've got to deal with what's going on down here at the bottom. Let's pull that across. Okay. So. Let's zoom in in this little area here, and I'm just going to use the 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 eraser tool here, and just just take this back to to kind of where it was. I need to be a bit more careful up here, though. I think the eraser is much too big, so let's change the size of the eraser. Okay, and then just carefully deleting. Okay, till it looks kind of tidy. That'll do. Okay, now I want to to get rid of this this portico stuff here. Let me just try. Uh, I just want to park this window slightly. No, I won't want. Okay. Deal with this side first. I think what I could do is maybe take a strip like that and really just scale it down so edit transform and scale oops need to be on a, the background layer transform scale and just pull that down just tidies that up select deselect then really just a simple simple paint over this so let's mask Mask the area first just to protect it. Don't want the paint to spill out all over the place. And pick up the colour, probably about here. And then get my normal paintbrush. Pretty big. Let's make it pretty damn big. And just paint that out. Uh, I've got the opacity set a bit low there for the for the brush, so let's let's fill that up. Okay, just getting rid of this kind of entrance portico feature just like that you know you can see there's a bit of problem with different shades of white so I'm just just nudging the color across a wee bit just to just to clean that up okay and generally I think that's that's looking looking ready to use uh, you can see a little slither of, of daylight at the edge there um, maybe just a, a slight change of, of image size will get rid of that uh, well canvas size actually so image canvas size that we want to change 
So let's maybe make it 1610. Good, that's just chopped off that bit of daylight at the side. Control A, Control C, and then double the canvas size. So lock it on that side. Change the width to percent. I want 200 percent. Okay. Then paste in the other half of the image. Okay, so that's the wrong way around at the moment. Okay. Doesn't appear to be snapping onto anything there, so I'm going to go to view snap to all. Okay, that's better. It kind of clicks in now. And then we can flip that portion of the image around. So if you do edit, transform, flip horizontal. Okay, so that's that's better. So paste that in and that's the actual image that we'll we'll use for the modeling. So file save as and I'm just going to call this the uh, the photo material and save that. Oh. Oh. 